And welcome back to a, another episode of All The Mods 9, where last episode I plonked full mechanism or whatever you get from chemical injecting stuff. One or, wait, no, like three, three raw ores into eight. But it's doubling? I don't know, it's more than doubling. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's been running away for a little while here. And we have a bunch of gold, a bunch of iron, and I just chucked through some osmium just because we, we got through all of that. Uh, so we won't, we won't be short on that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Today I think we can get back to assembling this reactor. Uh, I think would be good. We should have some steel sitting at the base. Now... Do need to work on some automation, uh, perhaps even automating these things so that we can just request steel and not have to do it manually like I have been doing. Um, but we we are we are getting there. We are getting there, and we've got a stack of plutonium ingots to chuck in that other reactor as well, which is nice just from the stuff running. Uh, this is done. So in here is approximately. I don't know, it was about 25,000 ores when I started. Uh, and I've obviously taken stuff out as I've needed it, like iron. So yeah, that's, that's a lot of stuff to process at some point, but not right now. I think we're going to move the digital miner. And I don't know what to do with this because I definitely don't want to break that chest. You'll, you'll sit there for a second. Uh, now, I don't know how far we have to go. Because I had the radius set to 64, so I guess you have to go 64 blocks. Which, I don't know if I really want to count that out. I don't want to count that out. Let's just fly over here. And assume that... Right beside this tower is probably a good spot. We'll get this thing fired up. Uh, and then let's see if we can... 28,000 ores? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, we'll see if we can get that reactor completed. Uh, I am definitely, definitely going to want a chest here though. And did I put it in a chunk? Ooh, if I had the power on the other side, that would probably be better. Close. <laughs> Close. Uh, and then, is it this one? And that's this one. Load that one. Uh, we, we don't need the fish one loaded anymore. It, it definitely, definitely doesn't work. Still not sure why. I thought that was all you had to do, but... <laughs> You've been the worst fishing thing I've ever used. Time to assemble a reactor. <laughs> there we go. 25 reactor fuel rods reinforced. Well, 75. The last 25 I needed. It was a lot of steel. I had to ended up upgrading the infusing factory to the next tier and also the smelting one just to, just to speed this up a bit. So that'll be all of them. And then we will also need a whole bunch of these. Uh, I think 25 should be enough because we'll also need... 25 of these things which we're a little bit short on blocks of iron actually shouldn't be too bad because we've got all of that stuff sitting all of that stuff sitting um, in the chest over by the wall production yeah all right all right, this is one expensive, expensive reactor. I hope it's going to be worth it. And we're low on steel again. Or, no, we're low on graphite. <laughs> one short. And we're short of graphite. Uh, that'll, that'll do. Let's get some graphite going. Right, that will be that. Uh, and then, unfortunately... Even with these additions, we still need to do all the outside stuff. But that's okay. Uh, that won't be too major. And then it will be interesting to see how much power this thing produces. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, cool. Cool, and then we just need like inputs, outputs, power. I think that's it. And I'm, we're gonna run this on just regular uranium because we're currently not producing enough of this stuff to even run one this size, so not worth. <laughs> Not worth trying to run this on plutonium. I guess I potentially could have not done this design and actually put moderators and stuff on the inside. Uh, we'll, we'll do that for the next reactor. We'll, we'll do that for the next reactor. All right, after almost entirely exhausting my iron supplies, uh, this should be the reactor glass we need. I hope. Yeah, I am interested to see what this reactor is like. So I've got the, the power tap and the inputs and outputs. And then all that's left is checking in the glass because seeing the insides is definitely cooler. Uh, although, yeah, we probably could have put like cooling and stuff on the inside rather than just a solid cube of the rods would probably be more efficient, but I figure if you've got this many rods, probably just brute force some decent power numbers. Uh, and yeah, we're kind of okay for power at the moment. We don't have all of the speed upgrades in all of the machines, but yeah, we've got a few. And I think we're making about, uh, when I had all the steel stuff processing, we were sitting at about 3,000 FE attack. Uh, positive. Which isn't a huge amount, but it's not nothing. So there we go. You are assembled. Let's try out some fuel. Let's see how much it takes. Ooh. A, almost 11 stacks. Uh, yeah, probably a little bit empty. So that's really chewed through a whole lot of uranium. And let's see how much power this generates. There we go. 40,000. <laughs> 47,000. That's pretty nice. We're going to hit, I think we're going to hit 50,000. That's cool. That's cool. And all of this is getting wasted because, I mean, we're not even extracting. Oh, we're actually, must be chewing through a lot of power at the moment. Let's get a power plug. Oh, we already hit one. Let's use that one then. And at least attempt to absorb some of that. Uh, now you will be doing nothing, and these should all be full. Reactor passive forge energy power tap. Reactor active forge energy power tap. Does did I make the wrong one? Those are all active ones. I thought this was a passive reactor though. Let's let's get an active power tap then. And let's see if that was the issue. Oh, I saw it flicker for a second. So are we hitting, we might be hitting some sort of transfer limit. Because you are not absorbing any of that. But if we turn, oh, we turn you off. You off? Do you absorb this power? Yeah, it is. There we go. That's absorbing that, so we can leave you on. Okay. No, we're good. That's that's all working. I uh, just I don't think we're drawing enough energy, and that might be. I'm not sure why. I guess it's just how much we're drawing at the moment. Cool. And then we can start reprocessing, or sorry, re resupplying our steel supplies. Resupplying our supplies? Uh, replenishing our steel supplies, because they took a hammering. Neat. I made the advanced tier thing. Nice, well that's 
pretty good for extreme reactors now. It's an extra 40,000 FE attack. Um, we probably want to start using that before we get into more of this stuff. Like turbines. Like turbines would be cool. Uh, turbines would be cool, but we, we're good on power at the moment. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It could be time to start upgrading our mechanism or processing just a little bit. Uh, I was just having a look through the machines and we're actually not, uh, I'm need to make these tiers uh, recipes. I realized I've got a, just a purification chamber sitting there, which isn't even the, the, the bottom tier of mechanism factories. Uh, so tier upgrades, we definitely want this one as well. And we could possibly pull off this. We're getting a little bit short of diamonds. Uh, I just need to mine what we've we've gathered so far. Uh, if we get some tier upgrades, oh, I've got a basic one here, and then I think we need like five, maybe six. And then I think we've done all the energy upgrades, but I know we are missing some speed upgrades on some of these machines. And we'll make some spare ones, I'm sure we'll use them at some point. So yeah, I was looking at where we're backstuffing. And actually, can the injection chamber, injection, uh, mechanism, injection... Oh, we could have an injecting factory. <laughs> yep. We should, we should... get one of them as well uh, and then this will start chewing up a bunch more power but we'll be processing the ore faster which will be good so you can do more at a time you should definitely do more at a time and you should be upgraded to the next tier and we'll just do all of them for now And then, like, your four out of eight speed upgrades, you can go... Let's just go maximum for these ones. So all of these on maximum. Maximum speed, maximum energy. Let's just double check we didn't miss any. Energy upgrades, nice. So, yeah, I would expect this guy to be a little bit full. You're full. You're pretty much full. You're keeping up. In fact, I think you're processing it slightly faster. Uh, hard to say. I think we're sitting good. Now you are missing, you've only got one speed upgrade in there. Let's do that. <laughs> so your maximum speed. Uh, and I expect this to not keep up at all. Yeah. And actually the hopper is now the hopper is now a problem because it doesn't extract fast enough. Neat. And then we're drawing yeah, 14,000 FE attack just processing ores, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What we really want, kind of, is stuff to go straight from the digital miner into the ore processing setup. Ooh, I need to put this stack upgrades in here. Yeah, we ideally we'd want all of this getting sorted somehow. A blood moon. I don't particularly feel like fighting monsters in a blood moon right now. <laughs> Not particularly. Ah. <laughs> okay, we'll come back once this is over. Uh, I think... Either this is full, or we broke all the hose. Yeah, come back once it's no longer a blood moon. Actually, speaking of not wanting to fight mobs, I think we were looking at crafting the Mega Torch semi recently, but didn't have enough gold, and now we certainly do. Uh, so this could sit 
here, and you don't take. You don't get filled with torches. And that'll stop mob spawns in a big radius. I don't quite know <laughs> what a big radius is. But if we got a couple of these, and just put them around the place, like definitely around here, if we'll just hide that underground somewhere. That should... Now, does it interfere with this? <laughs> you stop our spawners from working. No. I just stop the natural mob spawns. Neat. Yeah, that'll be nice, I think. That'll be nice. Beautiful. Actually, just having a bit of a look at how all of this is going. So, this is obviously making too much. And this is slowed down because we're short of oxygen, which is our electrolytic separator. Uh, which is using 2000 FE attack. We can get another four speed upgrades in there, and that, that's 20,000. It's a bit of a, a jump, but certainly enough oxygen. So, if that's enough oxygen, we can probably take one out. And that's only 20,000. Yeah. Just want to be a little bit careful with that. Um, 30,000. Although, yeah, we do have this guy, so... Actually, we're still not even touching his power. That'll be fine. The only concern is this is dumping excess on both, so it literally never stops producing stuff, so it'll never stop using 20,000. Which is a thing. Which is a thing. You look like you are out of... You're out of brine, which means we might want to increase the power draw of this. I turned it down a bit because we had extra. I mean, that's still full, but it is slowly going down. So we will eventually use all of that, which means this might want to be like four. Still going down. Now, do these have speed upgrades? They've got energy upgrades. They just have energy upgrades. Although we don't have... Yeah, we don't have brine. Might make some more thermal evaporation blocks and just make this a bit taller. Not quite producing enough brine now. So adding a couple of... Layers should be good. That'll be wrong. There we go. That's better. Uh, we're not transferring enough water. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're full on brine. Cool. And now we'll make chlorine. And then now this number is. Still going down. You could do with some speed upgrades. Would probably help. Then now you're back stuffing on that. You can have some speed upgrades. Let's take actually one out of that and put you in here. And now that number is still going down. Let's grab another speed upgrade out of you. And then that's breaking even, like the chlorine's sitting there, so we need... Yeah, we need some more speed upgrades. But that's looking better. Oh, you're going to chew through the chlorine. That's better, now we're breaking even on that stuff. Um, I needed some copper, so... <laughs> I mined some of what we had from our digital miner. We need to sort some oil storage. That's that's definitely a thing. You know what? Let's just let's just put another layer on this, just because we can, and that'll hold us over for a while. Nice. 
All right. Let's make sure we've got full energy upgrades. And then I'm just going to do full speed. Full speed. You have a call with Brian. You're doing some stuff. Cool. Now we're drawing 63,000. That's, yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> That's a bit. So you're empty with power. You're empty with power. You are draining. Okay, we're not producing enough power <laughs> for that. Let's take those last speed upgrades out. That will probably be enough to now not be... No, you're still draining. Oh. Okay, well, it's potentially a problem. Potentially a problem. You must be getting through some of the stuff. Yeah, we're getting there. Hmm. Okay, so slightly too many speed upgrades around the place. Slightly too many speed upgrades around the place. You should slow down, though. Once the spec stuff's... We'll leave it. We'll leave it sitting and we'll see what it does uh, once all this is full. Like, we're not using all of this because this is completely backstuffed. You're full on oxygen. You're producing definitely enough oxygen, which means we potentially could take a speed upgrade out of you. Still, still sitting full. And that dropped us down like 10,000 <laughs> if he attacks, so that might might have done it yeah we're good now we're good now okay yeah let's not worry about the rest of that stuff cool well we now have all of that running much smoother we now have a giant reactor chewing through our uranium pretty quickly which is nice we definitely want to automate like the pipes extracting out of that and Going into this one and this extracting out. Things we need to do. We probably want to think about the factory. Well, a structure. I guess it's, it always ends up as a factory because we're just going to fill it with machines. I think it's getting to that point where we probably want to start putting this inside a structure. Because I'm also getting to that point where I want to start properly automating all the things in here. Which we could do in the basement. But I think... I think I'll hold off because like this power setup needs changed. We don't need like a reasonably low tier power energy cell here. Probably can we start upgrading our flux storage? We can get into the mechanism big battery thing once we start making HDPE, which we have some biofuel for doing. We could also be burning more of that biofuel. Yeah, there's there's automations that need to happen. So I think, I think we'll leave it there. We'll come back next time and yeah. Next time we're going to focus on the structure. Might take, might take a bit of building a big structure. Unless I keep it super simple. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So new reactors, more power, more things that drain power. Way more resources than we need currently. Nice, nice. But uh, yeah, we'll come back next time for some more. All the mods nine. See ya.